Some motorsport brands are so iconic that when a manufacturer attempts to bring them back to the market, they risk not only their future, but also their past. The Honda NSX, Toyota's GT86. Companies trying to reincarnate brands like these face an almost impossible task. They have to speak to nostalgia, but also move the game on, deliver something new, something to entice a new generation. So when Yamaha Japan approached me a year ago to join a snowmobile development team, reinventing the most hallowed brand here in Japan, I was in two minds. Part of me was obviously excited, but a bigger part of me worried that at a time when two-stroke mountain sleds are uniformly brilliant, any attempt by Yamaha to resurrect a legend was almost certain to just fail. The two-stroke game had moved too far on for Yamaha to catch up. And let's not forget the elephant in the room here. Like all the sled manufacturers and other power sports and outdoor activity manufacturers, Yamaha is competing for the attention of a generation that wants excitement without consequence, that reward without effort. A generation for whom staring at a screen is more enticing than staring at untracked powder. So even if Yamaha did manage to bring back an iconic brand, they'd be more likely to sell it on a game console than on the mountain. Oh, and also, before I continue, I want to acknowledge that it's kind of a new thing for me to be working for a snowmobile company. Until now, I've never received any money or sponsorship for producing snowmobile reviews. So I want to make it clear that my aim is to bring the integrity of those reviews into what I'm doing with Yamaha. And please keep in mind that because I've been part of the engineering design process, I haven't had to accept anything I don't like. I could simply change it. So you be the judge, decide whether I've sold out, but I hope you can see that this whole process is driven by a bunch of people who just love snow machines and want to move the sport forward for everyone. But I haven't been able to show you anything about this until now because of non-disclosure agreements, but that's all over now. So I'm free to tell you that I needn't have worried about Yamaha failing at their two-stroke brand resurrection. Yamaha is most definitely back, back to two strokes, back to the real mountains, back to entice the next generation away from their devices and into the world of adventure. I know it's a cliche, but I think you'll soon agree that they've pushed the boundaries so far, they're on a different planet. When I joined the Yamaha development team, there were no instructions. Basically, all the head office said was, There were no rules, no budget. And in terms of development time, we had almost a complete rotation of the Earth on its axis. We threw out convention. Everything was on the table. We tried two skis. We tried no skis. Don't follow anyone. That's the way life should In fact, we found the answer to a question no one had ever asked. Maybe because it was a dumb question. But what if there are no dumb questions? Only dumb answers. <laughs> After one lap, not even one lap, of Yamaha's private winter sports testing ground in central Japan, we knew that even if our question was dumb or, or wasn't dumb, our answer wasn't even dumb. Or was it? But whatever. Whatever. We created the enticer alcohol and changed snowmobiling forever. The Alpha Hawk engages the rider like no other machine on snow. It elevates and amplifies the essential essence of the earliest enticer, ensuring extreme and enduring enjoyment for everyone everywhere to experience. This is the tuning fork of sleds, uh, allowing even first timers the thrill and, and the grace of effortless mastery. And honestly, the Alpha Hawk is unbelievable in deep powder. Side hilling, jumps, tight trees, you name it, the Alpha Hawk flies like a like a hawk. Don't 
follow anyone That's the way life should be Go your own way There's a new world to see Follow the sun We are still ironing out a few minor details with the Alpha Hawk. We've got a bit of calibration work to do on the steering. A couple of small fit and finish issues, nothing to worry about. Don't follow anyone. Still playing with track length, currently running a 109, but we'll probably move to a 73 inch on the production model. The injection system is from the parts bin and needs remapping. We're aiming for a bit more low end torque, a bit more high end power, a bit more low end power and more torque and power through the range with, with more throttle response. More throttle response. But overall the team is happy. We've benchmarked the Enticer Alpha Hawk against the best the industry has to offer and solved every problem. life should be go your own way there's a new world to see follow the sun but not anyone